What if the next step in human evolution isn't biological, but digital? What if our bones, our nerves, and our thoughts merge seamlessly with code? This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the dawn of the cyborg era. Think about it. We've already started merging. In 2014, DARPA built a robotic arm controlled directly by the human brain, allowing amputees to feel again. By 2022, scientists at the University of Pittsburgh had advanced this. A paralyzed man could move a robotic limb just by thinking. This isn't fantasy. It's the human body turning into the next operating system. In 2024, Elon Musk, A.S. Neuralink, reached a milestone. A paralyzed patient used his mind to send his first tweet. Hello, world. It wasn't a keyboard. It wasn't voice recognition. It was pure thought translated into action. We're not using machines anymore. We're becoming them. And it's not just in labs. In Sweden, over 6,000 people have microchips under their skin. They unlock doors, pay for coffee, and store digital IDs with a wave of the hand. It sounds futuristic, until you realize it's already happening in offices and train stations. The fusion of man and machine has officially begun. But let's go deeper. Scientists at MIT's Media Lab are designing synthetic neurons that can directly link with biological ones. Meanwhile, engineers in Japan have created electronic skin that senses touch, temperature, and even pain, meaning machines could soon feel what we feel. Piece by piece, humanity is upgrading itself. Pacemakers, brain chips, bionic eyes, smart prosthetics, it's the gradual blending of biology and silicon. We're building not just smarter machines, but augmented humans. Sound familiar? Ghost in the Shell, Cyberpunk 2077, Deus Ex Alita, Battle Angel. These worlds imagined what happens when humans go beyond flesh, and they might have predicted the future better than we realized. But here's the paradox. With every upgrade, we risk losing something purely human. When your memories are stored in a chip, who owns them? When your brain is connected to the internet, can it be hacked? When your emotions are enhanced by algorithms, are they still yours? In 1998, Professor Kevin Warwick from the University of Reading implanted a chip in his arm that connected his nervous system to the internet. He called himself the world's first cyborg. Two decades later, that experiment looks prophetic. He could control doors and lights by thought and even feel signals from a robotic hand miles away. Now, military programs are pushing the limits further. DARPA's Warrior Web and Exoskeleton projects are giving soldiers superhuman endurance. This isn't evolution anymore. It's engineering. But the rise of the cyborg future isn't a just about tech. It is about identity. What happens when your upgrades outlast your body? When consciousness itself becomes transferable, copyable, maybe even immortal? Transhumanists dream of uploading minds to machines. The concept isn't T-new. Black Mirror explored it in San Junipero, and Altered Carbon turned it into a lifestyle. But as AI and neuroscience converge, that dream inches closer to reality. And here's the twist. This evolution might not be optional. As corporations, militaries, and governments adopt enhancement technologies, those without upgrades could be left behind. A new class divide, the augmented and the organic. A society split not by wealth or race, but by bandwidth. But maybe this is destiny. From fire to wheels, from machines to microchips, every leap of progress has redefined what it means to be human. Now, we stand on the edge of the greatest leap yet, the moment when intelligence becomes a shared space between biology and code. So can humans merge with machines? Not only can we, we already are. The real question is, when we finally cross that line, will we still recognize ourselves on the other side? Because the rise of cyborg futures isn't the end of humanity. It's humanity. Upgraded. Subscribe to Majid Labs and keep decoding the future, where flesh meets code and the next evolution begins.